One of our biggest struggles when we started reselling is how do we manage our eBay finances? Today's video, we're gonna show you how we manage our eBay finances from our cash flow to our taxes. And we're gonna show you how you can do the same. So here's the exciting news. We have a tool that we've been working on for over a year that we want to offer to you guys. And I know it's something that can help you no matter what level of eBay seller you are. And stick around because we're doing things a little bit differently. And if you guys have been here a little while, you might remember last year, we actually sent out an email to all our newsletter subscribers offering a reseller seller spreadsheet. Essentially, we never actually expected that we would be offering this to people. It only actually came about because someone asked if they could have a copy of our spreadsheet. So this year, I actually decided to put a lot more time into actually building a spreadsheet that suited everybody's needs, whether you're just starting out on eBay or if you're registered for GST and are over that $75,000 turnover threshold. And this is where I wanna to talk to you about how we manage our finances. So we actually use a version of this spreadsheet to manage our warehouse business. And every week we update this spreadsheet so that we know exactly how much money we have in hand and we have all the information that we require at tax time. So essentially this spreadsheet is designed to be very simple. So there's kind of two ways that you can track on a reseller spreadsheet. You can either go down the route of entering every single item that you purchase so you can track when it sells and your cost of goods, or you can do this method, which is using your custom SKU within, e within eBay to track your cost of goods and only enter the information into your spreadsheet when the item has sold. And both of these methods are useful in different ways. Obviously, as a new reseller, sometimes it's great to track your items individually to see exactly what's selling and to identify trends. So initially, we did track each item line by line so that we knew exactly what was happening with our business. But once we started to scale, we found that it was a huge time wastage to be doing that week on week when we could essentially use eBay's reporting to do the same thing. Now, luckily, since we came into the business, eBay has actually put in some really good reports to help you utilize this functionality a lot better. So about a year into our journey, we actually switched to using a custom SKU model to track our items COG. So we've talked about custom SKUs a few times and how we utilize them not only to find our items, but also to track our cost of goods paid for each and every individual item. And the reason this is so important is because at the end of the financial year, you only need to be able to determine how much your cost of goods sold value is, your cost of goods on hand, so you can present that all to your tax agent and they can do the calculation for you. Now, we are no tax specialists and we don't pretend to be. We actually use Ethan Ruchok for all of our tax purposes. This video isn't actually trying to tell you how to manage your tax, but what it is trying to do is provide you all the information that you need to give to your tax professional at the end of the year. Not only that, but it gives you a great overview of what money you should have in your pocket after all your expenses. So let's talk a little bit about the spreadsheets. As I mentioned before, we built two. So we built a non-GST version and a GST version. And essentially the functionality between them both is almost identical. They both have dashboards, they both have tax views and also budget views. They have a return tracker and they have all the bells and whistles to make your job as an eBay seller a lot easier. Well, at least when it comes to your tax. Are you telling me this spreadsheet doesn't even list for you? I've actually tried to design these spreadsheets to be as easy as possible to use. So essentially there's only two tabs that you actually need to enter information into. That's your tax view and your return tracker. If you are entering all your information into that tax view and the returns tracker, everything else is gonna populate for you. So all the information that you enter into the tax view is gonna populate across the budget view. And then everything you insert into the returns tracker is gonna come back into both those spreadsheets and take it off your profit. So what I'm saying is this is about as automated as you're gonna get without using a third party plugin. Both of these spreadsheets are actually broken down by weekly, quarterly and also the whole financial year. So you can have a very quick oversight of the position you are sitting in within any given period of time. I've even built a little bit of a tax time tab so you have a very quick overview of what you might need to provide to your tax specialist at the end of financial year. Obviously, there might be a few other things that they want, but essentially this is gonna give you a very quick view of everything you've entered into the spreadsheet in one page. And on top of that, the GST version obviously does what it says. It tracks all your GST expenses and your GST paid to you, and it gives you an overview of what you own on a weekly, quarterly, and yearly GST basis. So I guess you're asking yourself, how much is this gonna cost me? Well, 
that's where we're doing things a little bit differently. So we've actually decided to let you choose how much you pay for this spreadsheet. We know that reselling isn't the most lucrative game and we know that some people can't afford to be paying hundreds of dollars for spreadsheets. So you get to decide, which means if you think this spreadsheet's worth 10 bucks, great, pay $10. If you think it's worth 50 bucks, great, pay that as well. But the choice is all yours. I've heard on the grapevine that might be a tax deductible expense. So I'm actually going to link both of these in the description and I'll also pin a comment to the top of the thread so you guys can find these spreadsheets nice and easily. Not only when you purchase this spreadsheet will you get the spreadsheet, but you'll also get an in-depth video of me using the spreadsheet so you can see how we manage our expenses on a weekly basis. So we just wanted to offer this to the community and see if anyone would be interested in using this type of model. Obviously there are other options out there. I know that Chris and Ethan have done the whole bells and whistles of entering line by line data into their spreadsheet. So if you wanted to check that out, go over to CL Furlong and check out their version. But I'm hoping this version can be used by a lot of different people within the reselling community and make your life a lot easier. And if you guys have any questions in relation to our spreadsheet, feel free to DM us over on Instagram at Tawsey and we'll try and answer any questions that you may have.